Hi, I'm Bill Link, and this is a Skill 18-volt lithium-ion cordless drill driver. Now, you probably already know that a drill driver is an indispensable tool for the do-it-yourselfer, and it's a relatively simple tool to use. Despite that, I still get a number of questions about how to use the various controls on a drill and how to get the best performance out of the tool. So today, I want to give you a crash course in cordless drill drivers. A cordless drill driver is such a valuable tool largely because it's such a versatile tool. From small jobs around the house like installing wall anchors for hanging pictures to larger projects like building a deck or a wooden fence, a good cordless drill can handle a wide range of drill bit sizes and types. And it's an absolutely essential tool anytime you have a lot of screws to drive. Of course, in order to be useful in these very different applications, it's important that the drill be set up properly for the specific task. And for that reason, there are a number of settings on the drill that you can adjust to configure the drill for your job. I want to familiarize you with each of those controls first, then I'll show you how to use them in a couple of applications. The gear shift lever lets you select between high speed or high torque settings. The adjustable clutch allows you to fine tune how much torque or power the drill puts out. The forward reverse lever changes the direction that the bit rotates, and the variable speed trigger allows you to control how fast the drill bit turns. To mount a drill bit, place it into the keyless chuck and turn the chuck counterclockwise to tighten it. Now set the gear shifter to the high speed setting and the adjustable clutch to the drilling position. Finally, switch the forward reverse lever to the forward position and you're ready to drill. Position the drill and check the built-in level. Then gently pull the trigger to start the hole. Increase the speed gradually. When the hole is complete, remove the drill and release the trigger. For driving applications, the gear shifter should be set to the high torque position. Then you'll need to adjust the clutch to the proper torque setting for your job. And this can take a little experimentation. Start with a low setting and try that. Then adjust the clutch as necessary until it drives the screw to the perfect depth. So that's a quick look at how to use a cordless drill driver. Now I want to tell you about a feature that's specific to this tool. You see, this drill is part of Skill's Power Plus system, which uses these 18-volt lithium-ion batteries. What's really cool about this system is that once you buy a drill that comes with a couple batteries and a charger, you can then add tools like a reciprocating saw or a circular saw without having the extra expense of more batteries and another charger. Just use the ones that came with your drill. It'll save you a lot of money, and then you won't have extra batteries and chargers cluttering up your shop. Better yet, you can use these batteries with a lot of Skill's older NICAD tools as well. So the next time you're in the market for a cordless tool, be sure to check out Skill's Power Plus system. All right, thanks for being here. I'm Bill Link, and I'll see you next time.